right? But it's clean, it's cleaner than some of the water we even drank today for lunch. But that came from space innovation. So why am I telling you all this? I'm telling you this because it's important that we look at space innovation, even from your own age, because it can transform your lives as well as millions of people in Africa who are looking to you to be the next innovation leader. So I wanted to look at a few technologies right now. Some of them you might have heard of, some of them you wouldn't have heard of, and some of them you've heard of but you haven't seen what they look like, right? But these are super exciting. These are the technologies that the rest of the world right now are learning about. You know how a lot of times Africa, what we do is, okay, so take social networking and Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg, in his dorm room in the university, decided to put some code together and came up with something called Facebook. Who knows Facebook in there? Okay, none of you. Okay, good. Um, he now decided that, okay, let me give this to my dorm mates, right? And it blew up. Everybody knows about Facebook. But then did you know that there were, there were other programs like that before he started, called social networking applications, before Facebook came? There were quite a few. So he just built on all that knowledge. Now, in Africa, what we do a lot of times is until the technology has become big and everybody's talking about it and it's the next big thing, then we now say, ooh, teach us about it, right? But before that, we're like, no, we don't think it's in Africa. So these technologies I'm going to take you through are going to be huge technologies that are going to transform not only my life, not only people in America, but our lives in Africa as well, and especially your own generation. They're going to be the things that if you crack them, these will be the next big billionaires. I mean, sorry, the next big billionaires will come from technologies like this, right? And in the world we live in, a 23-year-old like Mark Zuckerberg can become the the next billionaire because he knew how to work with those kind of technologies. So what we're trying to look at is how can we start teaching you guys and getting you interested in this technology so that, who knows, in five years time, one of you guys create something amazing that we're talking about on CNN. All right? So the first thing is 3D printing. First of all, let's look at it from the space angle. There's a company called Made in Space. Right? And Made in Space is doing something really special. They've taken 3D printers and asked where would be the most extreme place be to put a 3D printer. First of all, actually, who knows what a 3D printer is? Okay, let someone shout out. Does anyone know? Just shout, shout, shout at me. I'm trying to make this interactive. Okay, go. A 3D printer takes a, a, a sketch, a design that you do on the computer and turns it into something like that. And turns it into something three dimensional. Okay, really good. Did everyone hear what you said? Yes. So a 3D printer takes some kind of material, right, that you put into it and creates a real physical object a 3D object. 3D is basically anything that has three dimensions, like us. We live in a 3D world, so a chair, a table, this room, everything is in 3D. But when you print on paper, you print from the top down. Who knows how a printer works? You print the first line, here, 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 keeps going, keeps going down, all the way till the paper is finished, right? Till it takes the whole thing in. So a 3D printer does the same thing, right? And prints from the bottom, all the way to top, layer by layer. Sometimes it can take up to 10 hours, sometimes it can take up to a whole day, depending on what it's printing, right? And we'll look at that in a second. So what Made in Space said was, where would they be a 3D printer the most? Where is the hardest place where if something breaks, you have to wait months to get something new, to get a new one, to get it fixed? And where else was space? So who knows the International Space Station? The International Space Station is a huge structure in space that about five different countries built so that they can go into space and live there for up to a year. So astronauts fly there from Russia, 
America, from Europe, and they go up there and they live there for months at a time. They do experiments, they do engineering, they take pictures of the earth, right? But when a simple spanner breaks, guess what? They have to wait for the next shuttle that's going to fly supplies back up. Who's, who's going to wait all that time when there things to fix? So they decided, you know what, let's put a 3D printer in space so that whenever things break, it can actually fix it. And now they're looking at amazing new things that they can use that for, like even printing food. So this, this is me now showing you all the different aspects of 3D printing, right? So remember, we said that space technology a lot of times affects the rest of the world. So yes, we were starting off with space technology 3D printers, but now we're, we're, we're looking at what else, what other industries can 3D printing change? And one of them, right, it can, it's changing in lots of different industries. But I wanted to show you a few things you might be interested in. My name is Denise Belli. I just graduated from Shankar College of Design. I wanted to create a ready-to-wear collection printed entirely home using printers that anyone can get. I've spent the past year searching for the best solution. leading experts in the field. I really like the results. So this is 3D printed clothing. The clothes you're going to wear in the future, you will just print them instead of going to shop for them. They'll be your size, they'll be the color that you want. They'll be made out of anything you want, plastics, fabric. So she's a 3D, she's a fashion designer who's already looking ahead at how 3D printing can help her. Shoes. All of these were 3D printed. Just imagine the potential. Designed, shared, and print our own clothes directly from home. 